Ryan, we're here at the start of your benefit year, and as we've just heard earlier, it's been amazing, sort of two years for you really, you must be even more excited, is that possible? Yeah, I think it's very possible, yeah, it's been amazing, I suppose two, three years, you know, playing for my country, you know, my move to Notts seven years ago um, was probably, you know, the, the stepping stone to playing for my country again, and they've been absolutely fantastic in awarding me with the benefit, and I can't say enough about the club, you know, the amazing club, they look after my family, you know, the, from the stewards to, to the staff, you know, to the backroom staff, they're a great club to play for and, you know, I've had such an enjoyable time and yeah, I probably wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for, for Nottinghamshire. You've been well supported already this year, we've got three of uh, your England teammates here as well, nice to see them uh, straight back from South Africa, but here, here again. Yeah, I think that's that's a big thing, you know, the guys are absolutely amazing, um, you know, they support all the beneficiaries and, you know, we're, we're all very close, you know, we're a close, t knit, tight unit, you know, not San England and, you know, they've been here tonight and, uh, you know, I really appreciate that and hopefully they'll, they'll come a lot more over the year, they'll probably be a bit peeved off towards the end, but yeah, that'll be great. You're obviously raising money here, apart from benefits here, you mentioned earlier, for two charities. Yeah, there's the RSPCA Animal Shelter, which is Radcliffe uh, in Nottingham. Uh, which is very close to my heart. Animals, you know, I've had a lot of dogs and cats in the family, so that was pretty much the first first choice. Uh, and then obviously the big one, which is the Little City Trust, um, which is going to raise money for local hospices, probably one in Nottingham and, and one in Yorkshire. Um, it's all to do with children, obviously, with you know life-threatening illnesses, and that's also close to my heart too. Um, you know, we all have children, various nieces, you know, uh, daughters, you know, uh, so, you know, to, to put a smile on their face. I think also, when, you know, you play cricket and, and a lot of kids come to watch you and, you know, they, they do look up to you as, as a player and, you know, I suppose it's my duty, as it were, to, even if I could 1% or touch the heart of two or three kids and, and you know, put a smile on their face or send them away to Florida for a holiday, um, it, it's all, all worth it and, you know, it's something I've always wanted to do and I, I'm very excited about doing uh, it's a busy year coming up and just more recently coming back of the, the England tour to South Africa where you would like to probably, I'm sure, have had more time out in the middle and maybe the tour didn't finish from the team's point of view, probably one all in the end of the test series was, some would say, a fair result, but I'm sure England would like to have actually come away with a win. Yeah, I mean, from the start of the tour, you know, I was carrying drinks and uh, I maybe didn't think I would play to all that, but, you know, last game I ended up getting a game, but, yeah, it's been a very tough tour, I mean, you know, very, very well done to the England guys. I mean, you know, draw the 2020s, uh, win the one day series, and, and draw the test series is no mean feat in South Africa because not many teams have, could say they've done that. So, you know, we've not come away with any, any losses in any series. So it's a fantastic effort. Um, obviously, last game, you know, to, to play a bit of a surprise, you know, Graham Onions obviously being dropped, which which is obviously highlighted quite regular on a, on by the commentators. and. But yeah, I, to be honest, I was just great back to be playing. You know, I loved being in an England shirt. Um, you know, obviously I'm not getting any younger, but I still think I've got a lot to offer. Um, you know, I think I bowled really well. I suppose maybe on, on the odd day I was the best bowler. But yeah, I, I love playing for my country, and hopefully that can continue for a few more years yet. Maybe not. Maybe it will. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. But you know, there's a lot of important things this year. You know, benefit and family. So, you know, there's a lot of things to tinker with, so it's exciting times and yeah, it's going to be a tough year, but one I'm looking forward to. And one of, uh, at the moment, a number of the left arms in the world that are showing maybe all the right arm bowlers what can be done with the ball, the swinging ball, which obviously is, is one of your main weapons, if you like. Um, this whole sort of left arm, right arm thing, is there anything that you've ever thought about? It's just the way you've been, your, your cricket is. It's the way my cricket is, and I think also, you know, I'm something different, you know, I think shown around the world that left armers are taking wickets now, and, you know, the variation, um, you know, I think my record speaks for itself, you know, I'm not one for blowing me on trumpet, but, you know, I think I've, I've done well, I've been consistent in England shirt, and, yeah, I think it's been great, and also, I think what it shows is you don't have to bowl 90 miles an hour to be a good bowler, and that's always talked about, and I suppose that's one of my bugbears, you know, not to lower the tone, but, you know, guys talk, so, oh, he bowls 90 miles an hour, but doesn't mean you're a great bowler and there's a lot of good balls around that you know bowl 80 85 and you know that's great for for England and also you know the world you know to have a lot of left armers playing cricket we see from you whenever you're on the pitch we see the absolute passion you have playing for England I think that gets everybody absolutely inspired playing for England is such it, it is a pinnacle yeah I think as I said it was six years out not playing I made my debut when I was 21 and I think I just tried to make the most of my England career you know, it's not going to last forever and 
yeah, I think people like that, and hopefully people will support my benefit for that fact that you know I'm not maybe not the greatest bowler in the world, but you know I give my best and I give 100 percent, and you know I think people like that, and you know that's all I've ever done. Um, if it's not good enough, then so be it. I'll just get on with it and, and give it my best. I'm sure you'll get wonderful support this year. Now we're in this wonderful facility at the moment. I think some people want to come and have a word with you. Yeah. One of your teammates had three words for Graham Swan. Anything you'd like to sort of comment about him and your friendship over the years? Three words, can you sum him up? Funny, uh, dirty and blue. <laughs> right, listen, we wish you all the best for the year and uh, have a great time. Cheers, thanks Thank a lot. you. Thank